problem we have with this area, people scatter the, the, their scars. Find like one family, then after five kilometers, another family. So uh, when you share with these learners, some of them, they wake up at around five, five thirty, five, and they start their movement. Some of them, they are from different families. So you find like they have to organize, then they get their elders, even some parents, to bring them until they meet in a certain point, then they start their movement. And of course they are always late. And uh, even in the evening when they are going back home, especially those ones in upper class, uh, our, our timetable moves up to 4.40. So you realize that some of them, when it reaches like three, they come and say, the deputy want to go back, it's already late. And you find that the last lesson is they miss because already their attention is going home. Even uh, morning lessons, they're already tired because of that journey. So I was suggesting, if at all, if the ministry can look at, into it and they provide boarding facilities. When government puts up all these boardings for each and everyone, then really they won't have money to build other schools. So it, they are improvising to make sure that students study, but they also stay at home so that the parents are also involved in their lives. But uh, I encourage the parents and other investors, the local investors, to put up boarding schools around the school. It is their school. They should support it in every way.